do backflips. Spin out, then flip out. The new tire twister from Little Dykes. Batteries not included. You get used to pet odors in your car. You think it smells fine, but your passengers smell this. Eliminate odors you've gone nose blind to for up to 30 days with the Febreze car vent clip. Wow, it smells good in here. So you and your passengers can breathe happy. With ABCmouse.com, it was an instant change from frustration to fun and learning. It's a full spectrum of knowledge matched with playing games, and now she enjoys learning. That came from ABCmouse.com. Sprout, free to grow. Every day on Sprout, she's curious. Is there someone in there? She's courageous. Bye-bye, Stinger. <laughs> and she's always thinking outside of the hive. There, no problem. Maya the Bee, every day at 5.30 on Sprout, free to grow. Tomorrow, looking for something fun to do? How about a game of hide and seek? Ready or not, here I come. Maybe have a play date on the moon. You could go deep sea fishing. I got a fish. Discover a new world. Let it go. Or turn your brother into a rabbit. <laughs> With Yaya and Zook, every day is fun because two imaginations are better than one. It's true. You're the best. Yaya and Zook, coming tomorrow on Sprout. Free to grow. Every night, discover Earth in the human way of life without being seen. Uh-oh! Humans! Fine! Yeehaw! Wow, this is great! Question! <gasps> what do you think they are? And explore! Let's get a closer look. Till we know what this object is, we should be extra careful. But wait! No! Whoa! Oh. <sighs> the bravest! Hold on to your flugelhorns. Most curious. I wonder what's inside of it. And tiniest team of adventurers to ever ask. What do you make of this? Get ready to flugel <laughs> your world. Whoa, high three. three. Flugels, a new original series. Every night at 8, only on Sprout. Free to grow. And now, back to Sprout. Hi, Sproutlets. Did you have fun on our birthday adventure? Me too. Always fun when friends are around. Remember, birthday in Spanish is cumpleaños. Star's already sleeping. I think he's dreaming about birthday candles. Nighty night, Star. And now it's time to make our special nighttime wish, to hush the fish. Do you have a wish you want to make? Let's make our wishes together. I'm going to use sign language while I say our poem. Remember, sign language is a real language where you use your hands to communicate. Ready? Great. Hush, hush, little fish. We are here to make a wish. We close our eyes, then we start to make a wish with all our heart. Tonight, I wish for you a cozy sleep full of happy dreams so that when you wake tomorrow, you'll be feeling ready for a new adventure. Good night, Hush. Good night, Sproutlet. Hey, okay, we had another fantastic day, but now it's time to say We've got places to go, bubbles to blow, stories to share, and dreams to grow. So good night, good night, good Big boy. I'm just 
the kid who's poor. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough, except when I've had enough. But there's lots of fun stuff. I'm Caillou. Caillou, Caillou, I'm Caillou. <laughs> That's me. Borrowed book. He's brightly striped, as you can see. He lives in a sea anemone. Can you guess what his name might be? I know. It's a clownfish. Right. How did you know? I saw one when Daddy and I went to the zoo. The zoo? Lucky you. Well, that's the end of Ocean Friends. Did you like it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I did. Yeah. 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 Me too. Now, can you guess what time it is? Outside time! Right. So go and get ready. <laughs> Miss Martin, can I take that book home to show my daddy? Please? I'm sorry, but I don't usually lend out books from our class library. They sometimes get lost. I'll be careful. I'll bring it back tomorrow, I promise. Please, Miss Martin? Well, all right. Yay! Thanks, Miss Martin. Caillou knew he had to take good care of the book, so he decided to put it into his backpack right away. But on the way, Caillou got a little distracted. Hey, Caillou! No one's on the swings yet. Come and swing with me. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Shade Daddy, Monsieur and Mademoiselle. <laughs> and for tonight's feast, we are serving vegetable et poulet. Mwah! Mmm, good! So, tell us about school today, Caillou. It was fun. Miss Martin read us a book called Ocean Friends, and she even let me bring it home. She almost never lets anyone do that. That's great, honey. She must think you're very responsible. Yeah. What does responsible mean? <laughs> it means she trusts you to be careful. Oh, good. Well, I'd love to see that book. Would you like to read it with me after dinner? Okay. <gasps> it's not here. Why, thank you, Princess Butternut. I'd love some more tea. <laughs> Yummy! Daddy, my book's gone. It's not in my backpack. Your book? The one you borrowed? Well, don't panic. I'll help you find it. What was on the cover? An octopus. Octopus? Lucy's the octopus. You did? Where? Octopus! Ah, oh, that's a bath toy. Not my book. Maybe we should ask Mommy about it. Mommy, did you take anything out of my school bag? I sure did. And I put it up on the fridge. You're getting to be quite an artist, Caillou. Oh, that's my artwork, not my book. Maybe it fell out of your backpack. Or maybe Gilbert took it. He likes fish. <laughs> Gilbert likes fish in his food bowl, not in a book. Uh, 
I'm sorry, Gilbert. We've looked everywhere. Well, I'm sure it'll turn up, eventually. But I'm supposed to bring it back tomorrow. Oh. Caillou felt terrible. He didn't want to disappoint Miss Martin. I promised I'd be careful with it. You know, part of being responsible is that if things do go wrong, you try to make it right. Make it right? How? Well, can you think of anything you could do for Miss Martin to try to make up for losing her book? Maybe. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Martin. Uh, Caillou has something to tell you. I'm sorry. I lost Ocean Friends. We looked all over the house, but we just couldn't find it. But I made you a new book. I know it's not the same, but it's all I could think of. Oh, look at this. What a nice thing to do. You must have worked very hard on it. Uh-huh. Well, I have good news for you. <gasps> Ocean Friends! How did you get it? I found it outside yesterday by the swings. By the swings? Oh. I think you forgot to put it into your backpack yesterday. I'm sorry. I thought I did. Huh. <sighs> I guess I'm not allowed to borrow the class books anymore. I wouldn't say that. In fact, after last night, I'm sure you'll be extra careful with it. You mean I can still take it home? <laughs> Yahoo! Thank you! I'll bring it back tomorrow. I double promise. I know you will. And until you do, I know just the place for this one. There! How does it feel to have your book in our class library? Great! But, um, will other kids be able to take it home? Only if it's all right with you. What do you think? Okay, but they have to be really, really responsible. And from that day on, Caillou was very responsible with the class library books. <laughs> Oh no! We're trapped in an alien spaceship! Look! There's a way out! The Milky Way chute! Let's get out of here! Ready, set, go! Woohoo! We did it! We escaped the aliens! Caillou loved playing space adventure with his friend Leo. Some of Caillou's other friends were having a different kind of fun. <laughs> Hi, Jeffrey. Hi, Jason. What's so funny? It must be really good since you're laughing so hard. What is it? <laughs> Silly names. Silly names? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Clementine, come here. Clementine, you're a goofy, swoopy head. I'm a what? A goofy, swoopy head! <laughs> the twins didn't notice that Clementine wasn't laughing along, but Caillou did. She was upset. Why are you calling me that? Because <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Children, time for class. It is not funny. I think it's funny. <laughs> I am not a goofy, swoofy head. I know. I never called you that. Why didn't you do something? You're supposed to be my friend. I don't know. I guess I didn't know what to do. Well, I know what to do. I'm going to ignore the twins. Caillou thought that sounded like a pretty good idea. 
Okay, if they call you a goofy swoopy head again, I'll ignore them too. <laughs> This is going to be the tallest tower ever. Cool. Can I help? Sure. Wow. Look at that. Uh. <laughs> Xavier's Bumble Swumblehead. Bumble Swumblehead. Bumble Swumblehead. <laughs> Caillou could see that Xavier was upset, but the twins were once again too busy laughing to notice. <laughs> Come on, Xavier, let's do something else. Caillou thought if he ignored the twins, maybe they would stop. <laughs> But the twins didn't stop. <laughs> You're all inky, yeah. Inky, Emma, inky, Emma. Simon says, stand on one foot. Bend over and touch your toes. <laughs> Mara, bend you soon. Mara, bend you soon. Mara, bend you soon. <laughs> what do you have today, Caillou? Mmm, my favorite chicken noodle soup. <laughs> Cayoodles has noodles. <laughs> yeah. Cayoodles noodles. Cayoodles noodles. <laughs> it was home time, and Mommy and Rosie were waiting for Caillou. Toodles, Cayoodles! Caillou didn't stop to say goodbye to the twins. He was too annoyed by all their name-calling. What's wrong? Tucked in too tight? No. Daddy, what would you do if you didn't like something your friends were doing? Well, it depends. If they really were my friends, I'd probably talk to them about it. You see, friends talk about things. Sometimes it's good to speak up and tell people how you feel. Thanks. Ooh, Daddy, I'm glad we talked about it. The next day, Caillou and Leo were once again playing Space Adventure. Space Officer Leo, are you ready for takeoff? Can we play? Sure! Hop in the spaceship! Okay! Thanks. Are you ready? Three, two, one! Blast off! Into space! Vroom! Let's do a loop-de-loop! -loop. A loop-de-loop? -loop? <laughs> okay, loop-de-loop -loop Leo! Loop de loop Leo, loop de loop Leo. Loop de loop Leo. I don't like that name. Caillou had finally had enough of the silly name calling. He decided to do something about it. I don't like it either. Your silly game is, well, silly. And it hurts people's feelings. Really? I, I didn't mean anything by it. Me neither. We just think it's funny. When something is funny, everyone laughs. Leo isn't laughing. Or Emma. Or Clementine. Or Xavier. Or Mara. Oh, yeah. I guess you're right. Um, we're sorry. Right, Jeffrey? We won't do it anymore. But we could still call each other names. That's okay, right? Sure, I guess so. <laughs> Yay! Come on, Jumpy Swampy Jeffrey. Let's go on the swings. <laughs> Ready to go back into space, loop de loop Leo? You got it, Cayudos. <laughs> Caillou realized that silly names can sometimes be fun between friends. He also realized how good it felt to speak up. 
Up next on Sprout. They're just like every other family. Here we come. Papa, aren't you forgetting something? <laughs> Oops. Sometimes they get along. That's my baby sister. And sometimes they don't. Yeah. Just a normal family. You're not that old, Papa. Some dinosaurs are older. Who happen to be bears. Nothing wrong with this boat. <laughs> The Bernstein Bears, coming up next, only on Sprout. Free to grow. We'll be right back with more Sprout. It's so shiny. I know, Mommy, but it's time to let the new kitchen get some sleep. If you want beautiful results, you know where to go. Angie's List. Whether your home needs renovating or just a good cleaning, we're here to help you get your project done right by making sure you get a fair price and quality service, guaranteed. That's right. Angie's List is here for all of your projects, big and small. Pretty. Come see what the new Angie's List can do for you. Attention Kmart shoppers. Head to the home sale and refresh your bedroom for less. Everything kids touch during cold and flu season sticks with them. Make sure the germs they bring home don't stick around. Use Clorox disinfecting products because no one kills germs better than Clorox. Does your carpet ever feel rough and dirty? Don't avoid it. Resolve it. Our formula with a special conditioning ingredient softens your carpet with every use. It's Resolve, so you know it cleans and freshens. It also softens. Resolve, a carpet that welcomes you. And to clean pet messes, try Resolve Pet Expert. With Pampers Easy Ups, potty training is easy and fun. Slow down, buddy. Are you excited to go to the train museum? Yeah! <laughs> okay, let's get ready to go. Pampers Easy Ups protect against leaks better than Huggies pull-ups. Can I go to the train museum now? Did you use the potty? Not yet. Good job, big guy. You did it all by yourself. For fewer leaks, potty train with Pampers Easy Ups so accidents won't derail your day. Pampers Easy Ups, available at Walmart. And now, The Good Night Show, on Sprout. Look, Nina, they're finally here. Hi, Sproutlets. Well, I guess it must be that time of day. When we say... Hey, hooray! We had another fantastic day, and now it's time to say... Good party hat? No! Good cupcake? No! Good night! Sproutlets, today we went to a friend's house for a special party. We got to wear hats and eat yummy cake. Can you guess what kind of party we went to today? <laughs> a a birthday, birthday party. You know, birthdays are really special because when it's your birthday, it means you are a whole year older. And you get to have a party with your friends and family to celebrate you. Nina, I love birthdays so much. Can we go on a birthday adventure? Oh, Star, that's a terrific idea. Sproutlets, are you up for a birthday adventure tonight? Great. Birthday in Spanish is cumpleaños. Cumpleaños. Boy, and Star. And I like playing games at birthday parties. Yeah, like pin the tail on the donkey? Yeah. Or freeze dance? Oh, yeah. And my favorite... Simon says, or Nina says. Well, then, let's play right now. Okay. When I say Nina says, you do what I say. But if I don't say Nina says, don't do it, okay? We're ready. Nina says, meow like a cat three times. Meow, meow, meow. Nina says, wiggle your fingers. Are you wiggling, Sproutlets? Now stop. Keep wiggling, because Nina didn't say, Nina says. Very good. Nina says, stop wiggling. <laughs> Way to shine. 
Oh, I have a feeling that this is going to be a super fun good night. Hey, I hear those jingles. It's Lucy. Hooray! I wonder which friend is coming over to play. Come on, Lucy, tell us. Who is it? Hi, Nina and Star. Papa Bear here. There's an adventure in bear country coming up next. Somewhere deep in bear country lives a bear stained bear family. <laughs> Lest you think your attic's just a place for old things. Its great value is in the memories it brings. There it is. The very first map of bear country. I found it in an old box of things in the town hall basement. How old is it, Mayor Honeypot? <laughs> as old as bear country itself. Which is a lot older than anyone living here today, sister. Even older than Miss Grizzle? Wow! But where are the roads? And where's the mall? It looks like one big park. Well, there was only one road way back then. And there definitely wasn't a mall. No mall? Yep. And that park was really wild, unclaimed forest. That was the whole town back then. Just a small community made up of only a handful of brave settlers. What's a community, Mama? Well... A community is like a family, made up of everyone in the whole town. And that's what this history of Bear Country exhibit is for. These old things help everyone in Bear Country share memories of past times. And sharing those memories helps all the bears of Bear Country feel more like one big happy family. Thank you for your wonderful contribution, Mayor Honeypot. Ladies? Where would you like this, Mama Bear? Just over there, please, Ms. Grizzle. Why has Miss Grizzle brought that old shovel, Mama? It was the shovel that my great-grandpa used to dig the first hole to begin building the town hall. But I thought the town hall was here since always. <laughs> well, not exactly since always. But the town hall was here long before most of us were. And my research tells me this is indeed the shovel used to help build it. Professor Actual Factual has kindly volunteered to research all the donations. Pleased to be of help. After all, having the chance to see the things in the exhibit and learn about them tells us all something about our community, how it got started, and about the bears who started it long ago. A community is like a big family made from everyone in town. Yes, <laughs> very good, sister. Everyone has been asked to lend anything they may have that is important to Bear Country's history. <laughs> well, well. It looks like even little ladies dug up something to donate to the exhibit. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. That's my great great grandpa. Back when he was one of the volunteer fire bears. Did he help the real fire bears, Mr. Bruin? <laughs> this is long ago, brother. Back when Bear Country had no real fire bears. No fire bears? Just volunteers. Farmers, store clerks, woods bears like your papa. At the first smell of smoke, they'd drop whatever they were doing, grab a bucket, and pitch in to help put out the fire. Buckets? They didn't have big hoses to put out the fires? Not back then. This was all they had in the old days. They just kept filling them up and pouring them on the fire until it was out. Wow! Wait till I tell all my friends. They're not going to believe it. 
Well, then, your pals are welcome to go down to the library to see it for themselves. That's what the exhibit is for. Thanks for the donations, Mr. Bruin. I'm happy to contribute, Papa. I can hardly wait to see what the rest of the town has donated. Are we going to donate something to the History of Bear Country exhibit, Papa? Well, I'm sure we must have an exhibit and a half stashed away up in our treehouse attic. The hard part will be choosing which is the most important to the history of bear country. Do you think we have an army hat or something like that? Oh, there's so much stuff up there, I wouldn't be surprised if we did. I can't believe they used to make horseshoes on this. Oh, well, Mama, there it is. All set for tomorrow. As good as any exhibit I've seen in Professor Factual's Bersonian Institution. All these things give us a chance to learn what things were like when bear country was just beginning. Having a chance to share these things helps everyone in town feel like they're all part of one big happy family. How come there's one spot still empty right in the middle, Mama? That's where our donation's going to go, sis. Right, Papa? Our donation? And just what might that be, Papa? An army hat or something. And just where are we going to get an army hat or something? In the attic. I'm sure we have something up there. I do know the only thing we don't have up there is space. But I'm not so sure there's anything of any importance to the history of bear country. Well, there's only one way to find out. Everyone, watch your step. Let the attic treasure hunt begin. Oh, 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 look at this. What did you find? My old baseball glove. Is that important to the history of their country, Papa? Nope, but it sure is important to me. I caught a pop fly in the most important baseball game I ever went to. Was that the first baseball game you ever went to, Papa? Oh, better than that, brother. It was the very first game I ever went to with my one and only son. That's me. I was little, but I remember. I still have the ball. And I still have the memory. That was really special to you, Papa. One of the best days of my life. Mine, too. Your gloves neat. But it doesn't really tell us anything about the history of bear country. <laughs> You're right, brother. We're up here trying to find something that they used way back in the old days. Right? <gasps> I found it! This has to be important for history. What did they use it for in the olden days, Mama? That's my twirl hoop I was really good at it when I was little. But the best thing about it was when you were a baby and had the chicken pox, the only thing that could make you laugh and forget you were sick was when I twirled my twirl hoop for you. <laughs> well, I used to be really good at it. I remember, I think. <laughs> Well, it's getting late. The history exhibit opens tomorrow, and we still have to find something to donate. Oh, I forgot all about this. Our wedding gift from Great Aunt Grizabel. Remember when we were first married, Papa? <laughs> we used to sit by the fire drinking pots and pots of tea. Dreaming about the wonderful family we would have one day. What were Brother and I doing then? That was before both of you were born. You mean, back before there was a mall? And before they used to put fires out with pails? Well, back before there was a mall. <laughs> but not so far back as before the volunteer fire bears. That sounds important for our family, Mama. But how is your teapot important to the community? Hmm. Let's keep looking. I found it! I found it! Something for the history exhibit? Yes! This has to be at least a hundred years old. 
No one's not. That's my bunny. Oh, well, it looks a hundred years old. <laughs> That's because Sister loved it so much. It was your first stuffed animal. Papa brought it to the hospital the day you were born. <laughs> that was another one of my happiest days ever. I remember I was mad because I wanted the bunny a lot more than I wanted a new sister. You didn't want me? Only because I didn't know you. Once I saw you in the hospital, I said, Yep, that's my baby sister. That's my big brother. <laughs> hey! Don't worry about it, Papa. The exhibit already has lots of things. Including a big hole right in the middle of it, thanks to yours truly. You can put my bunny in the exhibit, Papa. Ah, uh, thank you, sister. But the things your bunny reminds us of are only important to our family, not the rest of bear country. Well, maybe we didn't find anything important about the history of bear country, but we did find lots of important things about the history of the bear family. That's right. We should have our very own History of the Bear Family exhibit in the attic. say, when it comes to attic treasure, we sure hit the jackpot. Yes. Sharing our memories helps us feel good about being a family. Oh, I almost forgot. I got a call from Professor Actual Factual. You're not gonna believe this, but it turns out that the Bear family donated something to the history of Bear Country after all. I'm so impressed. Just for a lark, I examined the bone little lady found. I discovered it's a genuine million-year-old Barasaurus bone. So that means that the oldest item in the exhibit, and not to mention the most special, is the one donated by a member of the Bear family. Uh, uh. Sounds proud. For a young zebra, the world is full of places to explore. Which way should we go? Things to invent. Ta-da! Bouncy and slippers. And beautiful music to make. From a caterpillar transforming into a butterfly. Wow! To a firefly lighting up the night sky. It's shining like the stars. Zoo is going to discover it all. Zoo is coming up next on Sprout. Free to grow. We'll be right back with more Sprout. My name is Kenyatta Ruffin. We live in New Orleans, Louisiana. We noticed that Taylor was extremely smart at an early age. We wanted her to be challenged. We wanted something for her to be able to grow with. I watched the commercial for ABC Mouse, and I'm like, hey, well, check it out. ABC Mouse is amazing. It's everything that you would want to teach your child in a fun way. It teaches sight words, colors and shapes, how to add and subtract. Dad was reading her bedtime story and she started to point to words and say them herself. He came to me and he's like, have you read this book with her before? And I'm like, no, it's a new book. He's like, well, she knows the words. It was from ABC Mouse. Taylor has been in school now almost a year. Everything that she's learning in school is already on ABC Mouse. So when she got into the classroom, it just was kind of like second nature. There's nothing better than to be able to give your child a head start. We're both very, very proud. If you're going to say better ingredients, better pizza, you better deliver. Which is why I'm introducing our new Papa John's Quality Guarantee. Love your pizza or get another one absolutely free. Get any large pizza with up to five toppings for just $9.99. Online only at PapaJohns.com.
while the squirrels are back in the attic. Mom? Your dad won't call an exterminator. Can I call you back, Mom? He says it's personal this time. If you're a mom, you call at the worst time. It's what you do. If you want to save 15% or more on car insurance, you switch to GEICO. It's what you do. Where are you? It's very loud there. Are you taking a Zumba class? <laughs> Everyone loves the way dark clothes make them feel. And no one wants that feeling to fade. That's why there's Woolite Darks. It's free of harsh ingredients, keeping dark clothes looking like new for 30 washes. So your love for dark clothes will never fade. Woolite Darks. Sprout, free to grow. Tomorrow. Looking for something fun to do? How about a game of hide and seek? Ready or not, here I come. Maybe have a play date on the moon. You could go deep sea fishing. I got a fish. Discover a new world. Let it go. Or turn your brother into a rabbit. <laughs> With Yaya and Zeus, every day is fun because two imaginations are better than one. It's true, you're the best. Yaya and Zeus, coming tomorrow on Sprout, free to grow. A Sprout Mini... Discover Earth and the human way of life without being seen. Uh-oh! Humans! Fine. Yeehaw! Wow, this is great! Question. <gasps> what do you think they are? And explore. Let's get a closer look. Till we know what this object is, we should be extra careful. What? Wait! No! The bravest. You hold on to your flugelhorns. Most curious. I wonder what's inside of it. And tiniest team of adventurers to ever ask. What do you make of this? Get ready to flugel <laughs> your world. Whoa! High three. three! Flugels, a new original series. Every night at 8, only on Sprout. Free to grow. And now, back to Sprout. Hi, Sproutlets. We're on a birthday adventure tonight. Yep. And birthday in Spanish is cumpleaños. Excellent, Star. Nina, on my last birthday, I got to blow out the candles on my cake. Oh, and did you make a wish? Yeah. I like wishing on the first star I see at night. I always wish we will be friends forever. Aww. Speaking of stars in the sky, I think it's time to use our... Sproutoscope! Let's look for shapes in the nighttime sky. And maybe wish on a star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, friend of mine. I just love to see you shine. Look through the Sproutoscope with us and tell us what you see. We just need to adjust it a little and... There, nice and clear. Wow, so many stars. And Lucy's here too. Hey, Lucy. Nina, I think I see something. I think it's a candle. Like one you would find on a birthday cake. Make a wish. <laughs> oh, we all should. What a great find, Star. Now when I look at the same stars, I see something different. Something else you might see at a birthday party. A birthday present. Wow, I wonder what's inside. It's so exciting to open up a birthday present. And it's also really fun to give something thoughtful to a friend on his or her birthday. Thanks for your help, Lucy. Did you see the same shapes we saw? 
What excellent star seekers you are. You're all superstars. You know who else is a superstar? Who? You, star. Twinkle, twinkle, I am star. And I know just who you are. You're the friends who come to play at the end of every day. Twinkle, twinkle, I am star. And I'm glad you're who you are. Beautiful singing star. Thanks. Sounds like another superstar is here to play. It's Lucy! Come on, Lucy, tell us, who is it? Hi, Nina and Star. It's your zebra friend, Zoo. Let's go on a good night adventure. Say hi, say how do you do to a fine young zebra by the name of Sue. Oh, 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 oh. Meet mom and dad, Nana too, grandma, grandpa, all of you. Oh, 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 oh. I've got a friend in you. I've got a friend in Sue. I've got a friend in you. Come on, Sue. There's a lot to do to get everything ready for our garage sale. Coming, Grandpa. Do you want to sell this? Yes, Sue. Bring that. <laughs> the idea of a garage sale is you sell everything you don't want or need. Whoops. Like this hat stand. Exactly. Ugh. Not to worry, I'll soon have this fixed. Hmm? Uh. 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 Zoo, can you help me with this? Just tell me when the table leg is over the slot. Okay, Dad. Think it's in now. Well done, Zoo. You're a great helper. Wow, Mom. I've never seen so much stuff. Yes, there's quite a lot. Hmm? <laughs> that was mine. I used to dance to it all the time, just like this. <laughs> May I have this dance? <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I guess we better set up, or we'll never be ready when people arrive. Yes. Come on, everyone. There's work to do. <laughs> Mom? Hmm? Grandpa said you sell what you don't need in a garage sale. That's right, Zoo. How do you know what you don't need? Well, it's something you've not used for a while, or you've had for a long time. Hmm. So maybe I could sell what I don't need. Well, as long as you're sure, Bizu. I'm sure. I thought Sue loved all his toys. 